The GoPro Hero 12 is nearing its expected release date, and it's no secret that I think GoPro has a lot of work that needs to be done in order to stay competitive in a field that they pretty much pioneered. The company likes to release new models every year in late September-ish to take advantage of the upcoming holiday season. The previous Hero 11 was released in September 2022, and it was a small iterative upgrade. It introduced a slightly larger image sensor going from 1 over 2.3 inches to 1 over 1.9 inches. And the aspect ratio of that sensor was modified a little bit to better accommodate both horizontal and vertical video formats. Going back another generation to the Hero 10, that was also an iterative update over the 9. They increased the frame rate in the highest resolution from 30 to 60 FPS. They increased the photo megapixel count by 3, something absolutely nobody requested. And they introduced a new processor, which was severely overdue. The Hero 9 was barely functional because they've been using the same chip since the Hero 6. So it would seem to me that now in 2023, we are due for a major upgrade cycle. And the initial leaks seem to reinforce this notion. So according to this article by Notebook Checker, the GoPro Hero 12 Black is pitched to arrive with a 1-inch sensor as opposed to last year's 1 over 1.9 inch, which is essentially a half inch sensor, right? That would be 1 over 2. So making the leap all the way to a 1 inch sensor would be extremely meaningful. It would also put it ahead of the competition. The Action 4 from DJI was just updated with a 1 over 1.3 inch sensor, and that is a noticeable upgrade in and of itself over the previous gen, which was 1 over 1.7 inches. So this leap is massive. It's also rumored to have 8K video at 60 frames per second and 4K at a whopping 240. They point out here that this sensor is great for low light situations. That's absolutely true. It's also going to make the image stabilization in low light that much better and increase the overall detail and dynamic range the camera can capture. And they point out here that in order to record 8K, the camera is going to need a new chip. And that should be completely reasonable. Again, the last time they updated the processor was two generations back in the Hero 10. And in terms of price, the 11 came in at $400. And if the 12 packs all of these features, a bigger sensor, 8K video recording, and the fact that inflation is running pretty high, it's probably gonna cost slightly more than last gen's model. It is worth noting that there's no mention of a new design. It's kind of getting old at this point, going back four, maybe five generations of no change. But overall, if this leak proves to be true, the Hero 12 would be the action camera of the year. Unfortunately, however, as we get closer to the release date of this camera, expectations are coming closer to reality. And as of right now, August 24th, this is the latest leak we have on the Hero 12. And the headline here is no new one inch image sensor. So based on that earlier leak, we were expecting that one inch image sensor along with other features like 8K video recording and a brand new processor. The latest indication here is that the GoPro Hero 12 will maintain a one over 1.9 inch image sensor and 5K 60 frames per second recording. And there's also no indication of a new design, larger battery, anything of the sort. Apparently, it's going to be different only in two areas. So according to this, the 12 is supposed to last for 70 minutes when recording in 5.3K 60fps, an increase of 9 minutes. And the battery should last 90 minutes if you drop to 5.3K 30fps, or 150 minutes 1080p 30. So that's change 1, slightly improved battery life of 9 minutes, 13 minutes, depending on the recording settings. And then the second change is to do with the stabilization. The 12 will have HyperSmooth 6.0, so a slightly better stabilization. And this is pretty common even with DJI. Every year they have a new updated version of their stabilization that's a little bit better, but it's certainly not gonna have the same impact that a bigger image sensor or a better newer processor would bring to the table. So based off of these leaks, the Hero 12 is poised to be another massive disappointment, and it does essentially nothing to close the widening gap between them 
and DJI. Now there is always a chance that these leaks are inaccurate and GoPro will have a more major, meaningful update or potentially a second model that is more significant like a special edition that does have the one inch sensor. But personally, based off of the track record of the company, I would not wait for the Hero 12. Instead, the DJI Action 4 is a great alternative. I use it personally, and I think the image quality, along with the innovative magnetic mounting system, is a very high quality package. So I'll go ahead and leave my recommendation linked below this video. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like before you go, and I'll see you guys in the next one.